Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys, Aquarius? Hope you're all well. Thank you so much for dropping in to listen. Uh, if you're looking for a singles love reading, you can check out my playlist. I put singles love readings up every Monday. All right, Libra, let's see what's happening. This is a general read, any aspect of your life. Take it out, it best resonates. There we go. Oh, you have a new beginning here. Ooh, a new emotional experience, a romantic relationship. Yeah, so some of here, you are lonely, feeling like you're lacking something in your life. So it could be someone with a few insecurities here as well. Uh, but I feel, make sure you don't think negative, okay? Think of that big cup, okay? The big cup. <laughs> Yeah, because I feel like there's someone here who's kind of lonely, maybe a little negative thoughts, but I do see this beautiful uh, new emotional experience. This could be a love letter, maybe even a new home. <laughs> Some of you are definitely in the single mode, or it's an energy of looking out for yourself, independent, enjoying the fruits of your labors. This could be buying something, a new experience. So take it how it resonates. You might be feeling a little bit uh, like you don't have enough money here, but I feel like it's an energy of planning for the future. It's about uh, successful uh, employment, enjoying time alone, okay? So, but I feel like someone's a bit lonely here. Yeah. So it's someone who's lacking love. They have everything but love, but there it is right there. So let's see what's happening. Aquarius. Aquarius. Does Aquarius need to know about this overall energy? Someone wants to come out. Yeah, so we have someone kind of holding back. It's about initiating uh, an emotional conversation. Okay, offering the cup. Some of you are kind of holding back a little here. Okay, yeah. Could be another person. Don't look at the genders on the cards. It's an energy of someone initiating uh, love. Looking at that cup. Take the cup. <laughs> the big cup no sippy cups and then we have the ten of pentacles yeah so yeah it's an energy of being a little cautious okay enjoying the fruits of your labors making plans for the future but i feel like you have someone taurus virgo capricorn energy possibly okay so it has to do with safety security financial stability this is about building a legacy this could be a business a new business opportunity uh, something you're doing on your own. So I do see the energy of independence, but I see loneliness, okay? Kind of holding back, something is lacking. Yeah. Someone who has everything but love. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's a little careful what they wish for. But, you know, this is someone who's keeping their feelings to themselves, kind of not really sharing a lot of... Uh, feelings very private i feel someone's keeping things kind of private here to do with their financial stability uh, waiting for something to be successful you're about to get something you want okay you know what you want here i can see it <laughs> yeah see it's beautiful passionate new beginning look at ace of wands yeah this is something you're really passionate about like i say if it's not you i'm going to read this as you uh, you can flip the energy uh, but this is that passionate new beginning something you're passionate about there's definitely this energy of growth so some of you might be thinking of you know uh, expanding on a business making plans here you may feel like you don't have enough money uh, but i feel like you've got this opportunity for a fresh new start so i do see work yeah, focusing a lot on work, building something you're really passionate about. So this could be a business uh, for some of you, okay? Being a little bit cautious, but you're going to get something you want here, you know? And I could also see an energy of uh, someone reaching out, wanting to be indulged, you know, because it's an energy of knowing what you want. Wow. Yeah. I see a lot of work. So it's an energy of... of uh, building, I see this energy of perfection. Oh, yeah. So I see contract negotiations. This could be a, a work opportunity, um, a new business. It's about two people being on the same page. So something to do with work here for a lot of you, but it's an opportunity. Okay. Like I say, it could be a new home, a new business, something to do with money and your financial stability. It's about building a legacy. 
I see a little caution though. Like it's almost like you're afraid or you know, maybe you're afraid to reach out to somebody or they're, you know, a little uh, not so sure. Because it's an energy of someone who's being cautious, careful what they wish for, you see. So it's an energy of just kind of holding back a little. <laughs> you're waiting for something. I feel that overall energy. Yeah. What else does Aquarius need to know? So yeah, there we have the hangman. So it's about looking, taking a pause, a little inner reflection, looking at things from a different perspective, uh, seeing things different here. So I feel someone here is working very hard, enjoying the fruits of their labors, but it has to do with this passionate new beginning. Now, it's about two people being on the same page. So like I say, there's some kind of negotiation. It's about looking at things from a different perspective. So there could be something lacking. I don't know, something to do with a contract. It's not enough money, okay? Uh, or you're just kind of looking at it and you're not sure. Because I feel it's like that. Be, you're being careful <laughs> uh, what you wish for. It's like hoping for the best, right? Yeah, and I can see this energy of Six of Swords moving away to avoid a disaster. But it's energy of moving forward, you see? This has taken time to learn something. Looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, seeing things different after a little bit of a pause. So it's about learning, learning as you go, moving forward calmly and peacefully. You've got some incoming here. So I see an emperor. Oh, yeah. So we have the emperor. This is someone who generally knows exactly what they want. So this could be an emperor who's single. Could be someone who wants to reach out, wants to know if you're single. Uh, could be somebody who's at a distance here, too. So, yes, we definitely have an emperor. This is someone definitely, you can see their energy, rather neutral energy. Yeah. going to see. I feel like there's a few things going on. I do feel something to do with a business, a home, a financial purchase, something you're really passionate, something you've worked really hard for. It's just perfect. Okay? So it has to do with a contract, negotiation. It's also how someone conducts themselves, the way they behave. Okay, so it's an energy of looking at things from a different perspective here. A little introspection. Yeah, see, it's, there's two points of view here with this Six of Swords, moving away to avoid a disaster or moving forward, calming down. Okay, so it's an energy of just calming down. It could be an energy of making peace with the past. Could be an energy of just two people getting to know each other. You got, you've got, you got someone here. This is someone logical. They're learning something after a pause. Yeah, see, it's like there's confirmation. This is someone who's learning something. You may have different perspectives of, of a situation, see things different. Tell me about the initiated chalices. Whoops. Yeah, so we have some Aries, Leo, Sag. So this is an energy of someone who knows what they want, not afraid to go for it. So you could have that energy in your chart. This could be, like I say, another person. This is someone who knows what they want, very focused, very driven, uh, very passionate about their beliefs. Okay, so there's definitely that energy of a lot of hard work. It's about working on something. So, hmm. Yeah, it's an energy of someone who stands up for themselves and knows what they want and not settling. It has to do with, like I say, a business owner, you know, something you're passionate about. I feel like it's your energy here. Like I say, Aquarius, this could be another person as well. Um, let's see with this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's definitely, oh, this is, could be some kind of crush, a business, something to do with children. So someone who knows what they want. Some of you want children. You're being a little cautious. Yeah, you may be lacking something, feeling a little lonely. Could be someone who's an empty nester. The children have kind of moved on. Yeah, so it's really an energy of someone focused on work, their passions, creating something here. Uh -huh. What is going on? I see an energy of, you know, keeping things simple as well. So it's about something simple. Okay. Yeah, it's an energy of gift giving gifts being cautious. I feel like you got a crush. I feel like you got someone here. Uh, they could be someone at work. But I, that Queen of Wands is there. Queen of Rods. Very passion. You know what you want, right? <laughs> and in fact, it, this the Hierophant, or part of me, the Emperor, could be yourself. Very strong boundaries. Knowing what you want, not settling. It's my way or the highway. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's an interesting energy here. And I, like I say, what we have here is this hanged man, two different perspectives. 
uh, to do with a negotiation or a contract. But it's telling you to just take a pause. See what this Nine of Cups is all about. There we are. Yeah, see? Being careful what you wish for. Someone's keeping their feelings to themselves, not really sharing a lot of that emotional energy. Kind of holding back a little. It's a person who's enjoying the fruits of their labors. You know, contemplating the future. A new business project. It's about planning for the future. It's about something simple, okay, for some of you. Or some of you, it's children. Uh, a business, something to do with um, a business with children. Uh, building something. Uh, there we have the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, it's definitely a lot of focus on money in the future. This is an energy of someone who's very grounded and sensible and practical. Yeah, just something simple, but it's looking into the future, making plans for the future financially. Uh, it's also an energy where some of you may be holding back. There may be someone you don't see a future with. You're being cautious, careful. Uh, I don't feel like you're offering a whole cup to someone. You're not offering a whole lot, okay? Yeah. Make sure, you know, if you got a person around you who comes in, if you're feeling that energy, you know, being a little cautious here. Uh, I almost see two people in that energy, but I feel as though it's an energy of uh, looking at what is being held back here. Okay, I feel like there's something simple. It's kind of disclosure or something to do with this uh, hierophant, this contract or negotiation. Yeah, there's definitely a couple stories and they're going to mesh getting a lot of that lately tell me about the ace of wands why is this here what's the ace of wands here there we go yeah see is oh yeah you got someone here so this is a single person very passionate very creative someone who's taking care of themselves uh, working very hard i think you got a person who finds you really attractive and it could be someone at work now this could be a boss Maybe someone who uh, does some kind of negotiation or contract. Uh, something to do with the way someone conducts themselves. Taking care of themselves. Very, very, very independent. Some of you may be so independent that you may have a person who's a little cautious about approaching you. Okay? About offering you that cut. But it's coming because you have this beautiful new emotional experience. Uh, this fresh new start. This is eight. Oops, there we go. Yeah, so it has to do with reciprocity, equal give and take. So there is an energy of someone preparing for the future. You know, it's. I feel like there's some what ifs here. And I do think it has to do with um, purchasing a home, a business, uh, and about stability. Uh, about, could be something to do with children, maybe a legacy to leave behind for the children. So it's about... Um, not giving too much, putting too much out, not enough coming in, but I feel there's plans in place for this. This is interesting. It's definitely it, it, um, someone who's um, very, very creative. Could be something to do with clothing, very creative clothing. I see a very creative person here as well. So it's about reciprocity. I feel there's an energy of two, okay? And this has to do with two people reciprocating, two single people contract negotiation it's about being on the same page yeah there's the birth of something new beautiful empress energy aquarius this is lovely uh, so this is an energy of someone who's very creative working very hard maybe um, being careful how much money you put out being sensible and practical okay so someone who definitely likes to look good maybe spending a little too much on clothes and physical appearance but <laughs> or tucking money away but I do see this birth of something new, a new emotional experience. You have an opportunity here. And I feel like as you're holding back a little, you're being cautious. Okay, I can see the energy. But being sensible and practical, because the Queen of Pentacles likes a comfortable home. They like to be financially stable. You know, And the Queen of Rods is an energy. I feel like what we have is someone who's mastering all the elements, becoming this Empress energy. So yeah, tucking money away, <laughs> saving for a rainy day. Yeah, being prepared. Uh, some of you might be even thinking of starting something else if you already are a business owner, maybe expanding. There's some kind of expansion here with the Empress. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, it's someone tempering their passions and emotions, kind of pulling back. It's about whether something is right for you or not. So it's about being patient. Someone's learning patience here, so there's some patience being learned. Uh, very nice and learning to look at things from different perspectives before you make any kind of a decision when it comes to putting out money 
uh, to do with work. Someone's working very hard, working a lot, putting a lot out. But see, it's I feel there's some kind of expansion here. Uh, but the temperance is being patient. It's about pulling back, looking to see if something is right. You may have someone here you don't see a future with. They're not right for you. Something is off. Uh, but what I see with this empress is beautiful new beginning. It's the way someone conducts themselves. See, you've got someone here who wants to get to know you more. They may feel like they're not good enough or they don't have enough money. Okay, or there's just lacking, you know, there's some kind of lack. It's an energy of two people who have everything but love. Uh, but this empress is that new. So it's about chemistry. Two people coming together who are just right. Yeah, so you may stop talking to someone. You may stop reciprocating or giving, okay, to somebody here. Because they're not reciprocating. Uh, they're not putting in the work. So, yeah, this could be an employee or something, too, you know, where something is just off. But I, st I still see the new. Uh, uh, this is an energy of uh, this new opportunity, some kind of temptation here. Tell me about the hanged man. Why is this here? Yeah, so there we go. So this is what I was feeling, putting in a lot of work, giving, 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 uh, working very hard, giving a lot to someone, and they're not giving in return. So there's someone here, I feel. Uh, it's almost like you'd rather be single. Some of you, I can see that. You know, you're in that mindset, at least at this point. But I do feel some of you have been very patient here. You've been patiently waiting for someone to reciprocate. Uh, you've been giving. So I see that energy of perspective. So I feel like you have a person here who has a change of perspective. Someone's checking you out. They're seeing the Empress. You look good. You're sexy. Okay. You look successful. Um, you got everything going here. So there's that, yeah. So you're not accepting anything but the big cup. You want that uh, reciprocity. If someone doesn't reciprocate, you're moving away to avoid a disaster. But you have this new opportunity. Ah, see, it's about investing. So it's about not investing in someone. It could be someone who's at a distance too. Uh, this could be commuting, a job that's commuting. This could be a business in the distance, uh, but I'm seeing something very emotional. It has to do with this cup runneth over with emotions. It has to do with love. There's the energy of waiting. Like I said, I could feel this energy of someone waiting, now, waiting for someone to invest, okay? Waiting for something to pay off, waiting for the abundance to flow. So you're waiting for someone to give, okay, to receive. Maybe you're waiting for money, inheritance, uh, or some kind of contract, maybe a bonus. Uh, but definitely some of you are thinking of expanding something, and you're kind of just being patient. You're, you know, kind of being a little cautious, but I can see this world, so there's some kind of change, yeah. So this is an energy of someone who's preparing for change, putting away a nest egg as well. But I see this new, okay, this beautiful new emotional experience. I think you're going to take this cup. I think you're going to go for it after a little pause, a little change of perspective. Yeah, you got an emperor coming in who wants to court you, wants to date you. We have an emperor and an empress. So this is two lonely people who have everything but love, okay. Yeah, I feel it's loneliness, but I do feel there's some kind of lack here. So if some of you have someone who comes in and they're lacking, okay, um, they come in with that energy of negative, self-fulfilling prophecies. Uh, it's where you've kind of been waiting for something you could move on, but you have someone about to make a move regardless. Now, this could be moving, relocating. There's your emperor. Yeah, so you got someone here who lacks, okay? Okay. Um, and I feel like you got someone dating you. You may have a person who's a bit wishy-washy. So it almost looks like two emperor types. Wow. They're like, wow. <laughs> there you go. Whatever you're waiting for, it's coming. So it's telling you to make a decision. I see you looking into the future here. Now, this has to do with being single, okay? But it has to do with a new experience, something new. Now, this could be someone who's different than your usual type. Someone may see you as different than their usual type, and they're ready to try something different or vice versa. In fact, you both could be. But look at this lovely energy. Whatever you're waiting for is about to come, okay? It's going to bring change. So there could be to do with moving, relocation. But it's a moving forward calmly and peacefully. You're moving towards someone, okay? As either someone's moving away from somebody and coming towards you or it's you, okay? So you know yourself, okay, where your head's at, what you're doing, what's going on in your world. But this is something to do with change. It's feeling on top of the world, very positive energy. You have an emperor. This is someone who's lonely, okay? 
This is the energy of someone who's been lacking something in their life. I feel like it's an energy of uh, children, family, empty nester kind of energy. <laughs> For some of you, but others of you, it's wanting children or some of you leaving a legacy behind for your children. So you're being a little cautious. You're looking into the future. You know, if you give to somebody, um, you want to be cautious here how much you give because some of you have been givers. You've given a lot. You put a lot of work in and you never get anything in return. So you're looking at things from a different perspective. It's an awakening energy. It's about shining a light on this. Uh, two people with different perspectives. Uh, it has to do with two people being on the same page. If you're not on the same page with one, forget about it. I kind of feel like you're sharing some energy here. Let me just ask more about this emperor. Who is this emperor? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Two of cups. Oh, my gosh. Soulmate connection. Two people being on the same page. Uh, chemistry. So it's either them. They are either moving away from someone and coming towards you. Okay. Or you're making a choice. There's two here. Oh, wow. I see emotional fulfillment and someone contemplating, shining a light on the future, the happiness, being emotionally fulfilled and happy, living together. Uh, wow. Now, this could be, you know, some kind of negotiation or an agreement between you and a person about moving forward, about relocation. This could be somebody at quite a distance away here, but it's about investing, waiting patiently for the right opportunity. So someone's waiting for the right opportunity to invest. Now, it's possible they are uh, moving away from someone and coming towards you, Aquarius. If I keep saying Libra, I'm sorry, it's some strong Empress energy with Libra. Okay, it happens all the time when there's really strong energy. So uh, you could have a person with some of that in their chart, but it's that energy of the Empress. Okay, yeah. The Empress knows what the Empress wants. <laughs> Tell me a little more about temperance. There we go. Yeah, see, a cycle is over, ending a cycle. Things are going in your favor. This is a beautiful. This is two people making sure it goes in both people's fa favor. It's about being fair, uh, very balanced here. So this is two people who are uh, very different in some way, but yet very much the same. So it, it, it's complementary. It's two people who complement e each other. Okay, what you're good at, they may not be, you see, and vice versa. So that's what I feel is happening here. So it goes in both people's favor. This is lovely, a cycle over, a whole new cycle. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah, it's contemplating this life path, shining a light on that happiness, emotional fulfillment, a happy home, happy life. Could be a home for the children. Maybe someone sees you as the mother for their children, you know. But yeah, definitely not everyone is going to have children. And a lot of people will hear that and immediately comment, I don't want children, but it, you don't have to have to. Uh, this is sometimes just something simple. Okay, this could be a business to do with children. This could be uh, someone who's longing, missing their children, the house is empty, and now they're ready for the future. It's someone who's been single and lonely. You see, they want someone to love and nurture. But the caution uh, with that one cup is, well, it's about reciprocity, equal give and take, where someone has been very generous, always giving, giving, okay, and never getting anything in return. So that's where I feel is something that has to be uh, negotiated. It could be a prenup, okay. Uh, someone wanting to leave a nest egg for their children, being careful if they commit to someone and move or relocate, okay. Wow. Yeah, I see Hermit, the light, looking for clues and answers. Someone might be even fantasizing a little here. <laughs> so let's see this Knight of Cups, just to clarify. Yeah, so this is definitely a person here. This is the ending. Uh, may have even been a third party, okay? Someone is no longer reciprocating. They're reaching out to other people. That's the one that's ending. It's like you're moving on. And uh, I see it, it's somebody who wants their cake and eat it too, wishy-washy. Oh, they may be sweet, they may be romantic, but it's definitely not a commitment person. Here you have uh, someone who's lacking everything in their life. They're lonely, you see. I feel like it's this person who's uh, coming in, crushing on you, very sweet. Someone is going to show you they like you. They're going to be generous and show you that they like you. That's how it's likely going to start. This is where you'll make this decision uh, to stay in that Empress energy, the new, okay? So this is definitely overall an energy of where you've manifested this. You've got this, Aquarius. You, you really do. Like, uh, I feel you're uh, going to take this cup. <laughs> uh, but 
cautiously. <laughs> just going to let things evolve, kind of go with the flow and see where it goes. You're just going to kind of wait to see how it goes. I don't think you're going to commit to anyone right off. You may travel, commute, go back and forth to visit this person. You're just going to see what happens here because you can always change your mind. You see, it's an energy where you can always change your mind. If you have someone who has been talking to you, ignoring you or not reciprocating, maybe uh, ghosting you and you've been waiting, I do feel as though you're going to move on towards this other person. I feel like it's yourself contemplating, but I do see a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a little everything here. Yeah, it's definitely an energy read. Tell me more about this beautiful Empress energy, Aquarius. Yeah, so someone's very curious. So you've got someone very curious. This is do with communication. Someone's thinking of taking a leap. Now, you may have someone who's not telling you the truth or not telling you everything you need to know. So it has to do with taking a risk. If you've taken risks in the past, I don't think you're going to take a risk. Okay, when it comes to money, finances, your home, your business. Okay, if someone doesn't reciprocate, you're going to, um, one last look over your shoulder, you're going to take off in the other direction. It's connected to this. Some of you have Aries in your chart, but it's just an energy. You don't have to have that in your chart. Now, leaving something behind. Someone has a little Sag in their chart here as well. So, yeah, I can be going off here. Someone, something's off, something's not right. See you later. <laughs> Nope, you want to be happy, and you are. You've got someone who's offering you a cup. It's an emperor. They're going to offer it in a way by showing you, spoiling you, doing nice things for you. Uh, sometimes it's a person who's like that, very logical, and sometimes a person who doesn't show their feelings a whole lot, but it certainly doesn't mean they don't have um, a lot of emotional feelings. So it's about deciding whether someone is right for you or not here too. And different, you know, if you're much more emotional and they're not the most emotional, it's telling you to kind of look at that before you leap into it. And I don't think you are. I think you're just going to wait patiently to kind of see what happens. You're going to be waiting for this person to reciprocate, waiting for this abundance, you see, to see what happens. <laughs> just go with the flow. It is, it is evolved. I do see change. I see some of you changing your mind about this one particular person, you see. Yeah, the person who's wishy-washy, this other emperor energy, someone who wants their cake and eat it too, and that's where I feel you know, you're going to move away. But I feel like you're looking at things from a different perspective here. You're just being really wise. I really like this energy. It's like you're not making any solid decisions. You're just being sensible and grounded. You're looking out for yourself, looking out for number one. But you've got a person who sees you as the one, and you've got someone who you know isn't the one, okay? So, yeah, you're very, very practical. This is a very good energy, Aquarius. So use some of that Libra energy with the Empress, okay? Because uh, uh, it's a very powerful energy. It's someone who's very wise, very intuitive, someone who trusts, um, you know, that instinct, okay? Uh, someone who's learned. So it's about taking those lessons you've learned with that beautiful Empress energy. So really nice. Take care, you guys. I wish you the very best here. So I do see the contemplation. It could be this emperor contemplating uh, the future, this two of cups, a soulmate connection uh, between two people. This could be someone who's a friend, a boss, um, that you already see eye to eye uh, with, you know, because you want to make sure that's what's being contemplated, shining a light about being on the same page how things are going to go, how it's going to, because it is a transitional energy to do with either relocation or just transitioning, you know, being calm and peaceful here. Um, so lovely. Any, any of you who need to leave something behind to make peace with the past, now's the time to do it because whatever you're waiting for is about to come towards you. All right. Take care, Aquarius. I wish you the best and bye for now.